Also in that Georgia case, lawyers for Rudy Giuliani say he has emerged as a central figure in the investigation. And he's set to testify in Atlanta before a special grand jury later this week. Giuliani's lawyers were informed today that their client is a target of the special grand jury's criminal investigation. The former New York City mayor is one of the biggest proponents, has been, was, is, of Donald Trump's false claims of voter fraud in the 2020 election. CBS News investigative reporter Graham Cates joins us now for more on this. Graham, great to have you with us here on set. So was this a surprise to Giuliani and his lawyers, the fact that he's now a central figure in this investigation? I don't know if surprise is the right word. There have actually been more than a double targets identified by the grand jury, including some 16 people who were at what we call the fake electors. These are Georgia Republicans who essentially posed as, as electors in the aftermath of the 2020 election. Uh, but a, as recently as a week ago, in a court hearing, one of uh, uh, Giuliani's attorneys had, was saying, we were asking prosecutors, is he a target or is he a material witness, which is the phrase that they had referred to him as. And they, they were saying they couldn't get answers. Mm -hmm. Today, one of those prosecutors called one of Giuliani's lawyers and said, just so you know, two days before your testimony, you are, uh, your client is, in fact, a target of the investigation. Why would a prosecutor do that? Is that just a courtesy, a hey, heads up, or something more? Yeah, it's, it's basically basic practice. You're, you're not expected to go before a grand jury thinking that you're going there as a witness, but in fact, you're, you're one of the people being targeted. And, and they said as much in court, in court last week that they are going to change their advice for him uh. based on that knowledge. They, they said, we need to know this information so that we know what to, how to coach him before, before he goes into the grand jury. And what further information are Giuli, uh, Giuliani's lawyers or his legal team giving about what kind of defense they're going to lay out? Or what are they saying about Giuliani's role in all of this? So, so, so far, they're saying basically um, he hasn't done anything wrong. We think I mean, this goes across the board, not just Giuliani's attorneys, but attorneys for other people subpoenaed. They think the whole investigation here in Fulton County is targeting the wrong people, is um, as, as out of political animus, and um, that basically they're being victimized by having to come there. In fact, they, they, didn't, want to, they didn't want him to appear before the grand jury at all. They said he has a health problem, um, and you're, you're making him travel from New York to Atlanta all the way for something that is um, inappropriate. But um, the judge overseeing the grand jury has said, you know, this is founded on, on, on uh, solid ground, Everyone, a lot of people have heard the, the famous phone call between Donald Trump and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, in which he asked for all those votes, and that's something that the prosecutor has to look into. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, given that Giuliani has claimed this medical condition uh, to delay testifying, uh, could we see another delay and he not testify in two days' time? No, his lawyer Bob Costello told me it's definitely happening. There's, nothing, there's no getting around at this point. He will be there on Wednesday. He's, he's going to testify. Um, now, it's a little different for, for, as you talked about, Lindsey Graham. He has the ability to kind of uh, push this because he's a currently elected official. But Rudy Giuliani is just a, a regular citizen like, like you or me. So mm -hmm. if a grand jury says you have to appear, you have to appear. Have There's to a appear. famous quote in New York uh, City that you could indict a ham sandwich in front of a grand jury. I'm butchering the quote, not the sandwich. Uh, is that true in Georgia? Is the rules the same? How does it work? So this is a special grand jury. And so th that is famously the case where right? prosecutors are able to get grand juries to indict. They're, with a special grand jury, though, they don't actually hand down an indictment. They're going to, at the end of this, produce presumably a lengthy report and recommend charges or not recommend charges and give it to District Attorney Fannie Willis. And then she has to make her, her decision based on that. All right. Got it. Good info. Graham Cates, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it.